So, stream decks, everybody. What's up, Scran? Transcript winning the quest coins. Beautiful work. Uh, if you guys don't know what stream decks are, they're super useful tools by the company Elgato. Um, in fact, I might just bring one up on Google here. Let's see, stream deck. Um, So yeah, if you guys haven't seen one of these, these are just like giant macro boards for streamers. And uh, they're super duper useful, absolutely amazing. I'm tempted to uh, set up this other camera pointed at the stream deck. Let me see if I can figure this out real quick. Give me one moment. Oh, I'm trying to like balance it. Kind of tough to see. But uh, here's our stream deck, guys. Can kind of walk you through the buttons we have on ours. I'll leave that view right there for now. You guys should remove the picture that says Battlefield Deluxe Giveaway at 10 p.m. MST, unless that's real, because I need in that. Uh, no, that was that was a giveaway for that day, so that's old. Yeah, I guess I guess we could probably remove that. It's a good idea. Noted. Thanks, transcript. Um, so I'll show you a few of the the different macros we like to use. These are two of our most popular macros on our stream deck. Uh, player one and player two, and we use these to disable the cameras and name tags depending on which side you're on um, and I can also do the same with the stream deck over there and we have that set up to have multiple uses in every scene and one thing that's really cool about when you set up a, a macro like this if it's not something that's doing a specific action inside of OBS which is one of uh, the stream decks most powerful tools um, say if I was wanting like I could go to any scene and basically any anything that I want this same button to interact with I can just go to the hotkey in OBS in fact I'm going to demonstrate this right now because it's kind of hard to talk about it'll be easier to show so I can go into over and over again and expecting a different <laughs> That's funny. Um, so if you go to hotkeys here, and this is how I like to kind of set up those buttons. Um, so say in uh, not BRB here, for instance, we've got our buttons that we would want to use to toggle something. Uh, we could put the overlay on it, and then we what we would do is we would just click it, then press that button, we don't even have to remember specifically what hotkey we set to that button necessarily because all we have to do is press that button and then it'll do that hotkey which I can't demonstrate right now because this Dream Deck isn't <laughs> Sal out of Fraggle. <laughs> he loves it I'm glad you're here for that um, so that's just a really good way to think about macros is like I could set each one of these buttons to like the craziest thing, right? Like control shift X L Y or whatever, which I don't think is even possible. But I don't need to to remember, oh, my uh my donation goal is on control shift that and and my this is on that. All you have to do is assign it to a, a button and you can make that button have multiple functions across different scenes if you're using a macro. 
I used to have crazy hotkeys. Dude, hotkeys can be so useful, but they can also be very confusing. So I think it's like, it's important to have a strategy when you're using hotkeys. Um, we also have our famous swap button that allows us to change back and forth between perspectives. This is actually a uh, switch. Uh, so if we go in here, to the system hotkey switch. This allows you to toggle between two different macros basically. So there's like a hotkey like this where it's just performing the same action every time you press it. And then a swap button where it's alternating between two buttons, basically like a toggle. Cheers transcript, I gotcha. Change my title real quick. Sorry, guys. Um, and then let's talk about uh, one of the best things about Stream Decks, which is that they can do more than just you know, press a bunch of buttons on your keyboard at the same time, essentially. They can actually, OBS or Stream Decks can actually interact directly with OBS and Streamlabs OBS. So it can uh, grab specific sources, so you can mute specific microphones. Um, it can toggle specific sources, uh, which I think is really where Stream Decks shine and can provide a buttload of value. So we use it for things like um, coin quests and stuff too. Like the the Twitch inter chat integration is is really massive too. So you can do all sorts of different commands and you know all that on the fly. We've got almost a hundred commands easily accessible on our Stream Deck here, which is pretty cool. Um, we have our number of viewers. Uh, we can run an ad off the Stream Deck, which is super useful. Uh, let's see. Things we never really utilize, but probably could. Sub chat. Uh, maybe soon we'll start doing stuff like that. Slow chat. I remember I had to activate slow chat the other day. One one freaking guy, or no, it was follower only chat for like something logic i i was in the wrong one i changed it after he suggested uh creating clips is so clutch on the stream deck that's uh absolutely massive one change that i actually want us to make if you uh if we go over here you can see this is our clip button you actually have to go inside a folder then press it to clip and then go back out. I feel like we really need that clip button accessible right on our home home page here. Um, let's see. Open last clip. That's one that we can't utilize, but I wish we could. Um, because if we were streaming and gaming on the same PC and our stream decks were attached to same PC that we're gaming on, it would be totally worthwhile to have an open last clip button so you could just have a super easily watch clips back. But since our Stream Deck is attached to our uh, Stream PC and we never actually display our Stream PC to you guys, there's uh, not much utility for that for us. Tweets. Tweets we don't really use because uh, we like to make those personalized. Um, but I feel like for individual content creators, having a bunch of preset tweets would be super useful. Um, XSplit, never use YouTube, Tippy Stream. I don't know much about Tippy Stream, to be honest. Tippy Honest. Spin. Let's see. Uh, 
one thing that's super, super, I mean, pretty much the bread and butter of the Stream Deck is the fact that you can just create folders. So basically, you have an infinite amount of of options and, and data here at your disposal on top of uh, different profiles that you can a actively switch between. We don't make use of this at all. I've always thought it would be really cool for us all to have our own custom Stream Deck co configuration. You just go in and be like, and it's like Jack's configuration. And you know, I have like certain specific Rocket League scenes or Survive scenes and stuff like that. But we are not that quite uh, extensively customized. But, you know, maybe someday. There's also some soundboard stuff. Uh, if we didn't utilize the stream elements shop, we would probably have some random soundboard stuff to play on there. Yo, what's up, Yellow Mang? Doing a uh, tutorial on stream decks right now. Just uh, talking about them, having a little discussion. You ever used a stream deck or you're, you want one for your stream? The stream button is kind of interesting. I wonder if we could use that to stop and start the stream. I bet we could. Maybe we need to start using that because it's kind of easier than uh, having to, to do it with the mouse. So that you can do it super fast too, just like boom, boom. Mixer, game capture. Don't use that either. We don't. So yeah, toggling sources, muting, Microphones, audio, um, super useful. Titles and tags. Having a bunch of preset titles and tags to use is, would be super valuable as well. But uh, does anyone have any questions about Stream Decks? They, they look complicated. They really are not that complicated. You know what? Let's, uh, let's build a pr profile for Yellow Mang. Uh, here. Boom. Blank profile. Welcome. Okay, so you just got a stream deck. Yellow. Um, you would want, you can like put the number of viewers you have right there. And you just like associate your account with it. Ease of access. Yeah, totally. Um, you could put preset stream titles yellow gc plays rocket league or pocket league so then you have a button then all you do is press that button and it puts your title in there for you so you can swap between different titles um you can put automated chat messages for all any command you ever want to type in your chat if you have any sort of chat bot you can just have on a button that you can be like oh have you heard about our house? Would you like to check out the store? Would you like to become a DT cutie? Boom. Hit them with all the information. Uh, and then you can even come in here and grab your different scenes. So you got your BRB scene. You got uh, Rocket League. And then you just have buttons so you can swap your scenes. It's all here. You can mute and unmute your mic. It's incredible, guys. But uh. Yeah, and totally intuitive in my opinion. Um, so if you are overwhelmed and and scared by it, what's up, Guterin? Uh Ask me some questions and let me know if I can ease your mind. This is our little OBS setup that we have on this computer. think that'll about do it for our tutorial today guys thank you so much for joining me it was a blast have the cash quest packages been sent no they have not been shipped yet i'll uh i'll check on that though thank you all right let's see a yellow yeah, we're going to fill all of them with business car cards, Sal. So many business cards. Don't you worry. All right, guys. We're going to throw it down to the cave. I'm going to throw up the uh, leaderboard for the Quest Coins. I'll see you guys down there.
Razor will be back up to take over the stream very shortly. Thanks everybody for joining.